He's head of state in charge of all of them. Either you're in government or you're in the opposition, he is the head of state. Now, that's the distinction people need to appreciate. That you don't expect Uhuru to be on top of a Land Rover or of a truck campaigning for one side against the other side. But he has pronounced himself about his preference and why he prefers Raila Amolo Odinga to William Samoy Ruto. He has a democratic right to express himself and to pronounce himself. He has done that. But surely you don't expect him to hit the ground. And that is why now you find it is Martha and Raila. As we are talking today, they were both in Narok. They are the ones on the ticket. Ohuru is not on the ticket. Ohuru is going home in the next 80 days, 80 something days, 85. All right? But he has to oversee a peaceful transition, a peaceful election. A pe he now has to step into his shoes of the president and commander-in-chief. In that situation, he cannot uh, go out there campaigning. But he can express himself. If he's opening a road in Loitoktok, he can appeal to the Wataveta. Uh, remember, these are our projects. In order for continuity for some of these projects and programs, I ask you to support my choice. My choice is so-and-so. Because this uh, Kenya Kwisha people had made this election about Uhuru. It was like it's Uhuru. And then over and above that, he would become chief that chief minister. Oh. Yeah. And uh, uh, as we wind up before it, it takes over, how is Raila and Karua ticket doing in Mount Kenya? And why is it that the president is not showing up for, 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 for the rally? Oh no. The president has done his bit. He has been the chair of the Azimio Laumoja Council. This council has all the leadership of the constituent parties. Remember, we have more than 26 uh, political parties in the Azimio. Not everybody can sit on it. And that one also has an, a neck. Now, the party leader of Azimio Laumoja and the flag bearer is Raila Amolo Odinga. The president sits at the chair of the council, all right? But now that we have a ticket, now that we have a candidate, now that we have a running mate, it is up to them to go and campaign now. The president has to keep off. The president has to be above. Now he becomes head of state. You see, the president is both head of state and head of government. He's head of government when he's Uhuru the head of a political party. But Uhuru needs to know who is he leaving behind. And uh, quite clearly he has pronounced himself. And my last question, uh, well on that still, when you say that Uhuru definitely is, he is retiring as the president, yes. and the team is taking over now. Yeah. What kind of influence would he have? Because people argue that he will still be calling the shots in the next administration How? if Raila wins. How? And what if, just in case, uh, the Kenya Kwanzaa wins the election? How is the transition going to be? He will hand over the instruments of power to Kenya Kwanzaa. Uh, well, it's not Kenya Kwanzaa, it's Kenya Kwisha. He will hand over. He is constitutionally required to hand over to the winner. All right? He has expressed himself. He has pronounced himself. For those of us who listen to him and who believe in him and who believe in his vision, a lot of our people who believe in him will pro most probably agree with him. All right? But that is not to say Uhuru is going to hang around after August 9, unless there is a runoff. Then he'll still have to be president until a new president is sworn in. But I can assure you this election will be so decisive, there will be no need for a runoff. Whether people go to the Supreme Court or whatever, there will be no panic. All right? And Uhuru will gracefully hand over power. You see, the democratic institutions of this country.